larger catechism reading this morning is found in question number 50, which reads as follows. Wherein consisted Christ's humiliation after his death? The answer of our catechism is Christ's humiliation after his death consisted in his being buried and continuing in the state of the dead and under the power of death till the third day, which hath been otherwise expressed in these words, he descended into hell. We might have thought that the humiliation, humiliation of Christ would have ended with his death, with his passing from this life, with his being taken down from the cross and put into the tomb, but in fact it continued, for it was not something to be uh, rejoiced in, that his body was in a tomb. When Christ died at the cross, he went through the same kind of thing that you and I go through in death in that his soul was separated from his body. His soul went immediately into the presence of the Lord. You recall that he said to the thief at his side that today you shall be with me in paradise. And so when we think of the soul of Jesus uh, passing from this life, it does not go into the grave, into hell itself, and there speak to those who are yet in prison as some have suggested, but rather he goes immediately into the presence of the Lord. His body, however, being separated from his soul, descends into the grave and is buried. It undergoes this separation for three days, during which period of time he fully satisfied the wrath of God for sin. He was joined to us in his death. His burial was for us and for our salvation, so that we are buried with Him in baptism and joined with Him in new life when His soul and body are reunited and He is raised from the dead. The divine person of Christ, the second member of the Trinity, is forever joined with the human soul and body of Jesus. They are not not separated from Him, but He continually works on our behalf for our salvation. The humiliation of Christ that continued in His death, in His being buried. He did not deserve to die. He did not deserve to have His body buried. But we do know that God was pleased to spare His body from the corruptions of the grave and to raise Him on the third day from death, triumphant over sin and death, for our salvation. So, thanks be to God for the work of Christ in His humiliation, beginning with His entrance into this world within the womb of the Virgin Mary, through the course of His life, through His sufferings and death, and even into His burial. He was humbled for us, for our salvation. Thanks be to God for His gracious work in our Mediator, Jesus Christ.